Happy Friday. Welcome to This Week in Discovery News. I'm Trace, and this episode we're talking about psychics on the moon and the sun throwing radiation at us like it's going out of style. Now, on Facebook, your conversation about those psychics was both funny and kind of angry. For the first time in a while, both Twitter and Facebook had the same level of crazy about one story that we published this week regarding psychics and remote viewing on the moon. The psychic said that the astronauts actually found an alien spaceship inside of a giant rock on the moon. We had access to alien technology so that we could make something really advanced. Unlikely. But a lot of our Facebook comments were things like, if they were really psychics, they'd have used their talents better. Or, if they were really psychics, they'd have seen Paula Deen's diabetes coming. I think we all saw that. My favorite was remote viewing. I call that my imagination. This story is what we call pseudoscience, a collection of beliefs or practices mistakenly regarded as being based on scientific method. Anyway, regardless of how you felt about the story, we knew it was hokum. Did I just say hokum? What the what? But it didn't matter because we could explain what the pseudoscience was behind the story. Anything about the moon does really well in Discovery News. It's our closest alien planet. Why aren't we exploring it more? Let's leave and never come back. Automatic. Now for the story of the week, which is not about the moon, but in fact is about another planet. Well, maybe not planet in our solar system. Let's ask Harry Carey. Let me ask, what's your favorite planet? Mine's the sun. <laughs> has been. I like it because it's like the king of planets. This week the sun had what's called a coronal mass ejection. Simply put, the sun spat out a giant bubble of magnetic radiation and it shot right at us. Now when it hits us, it's going to hit the magnetosphere and turn into a giant light show for everyone here on Earth. The bubble screamed toward us at millions of miles per hour, hit the atmosphere, and then had a party. The aurora could be seen all over the northern parts of the planet. It caused satellite disruption, it can cause cell phone problems, power grid issues. Planes had to be diverted off of the tops of the planet just in case. The sun might have affected your flight to Saskatchewan. Maybe you wanted to go to the Regina Science Center in Regina, Saskatchewan, where they have this lovely Lego shuttle. That's it for me. As always, thank you for watching This Week in Discovery News. And make sure that you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at Discovery underscore news, and subscribe to our Discovery Daily Newsletter, which you can do at discoverynews.com. So have a great week, and we'll see you next time. I didn't have any yogurt. Hey, if you want to take out your frustrations, do it somewhere else. <laughs>